Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the mouse pointer size on your Windows 10 desktop computer. So as I'm working in Windows, you can see the mouse cursor I have at the moment is quite small and I like the mouse cursor to be much bigger. So when I'm clicking on things or if I'm doing YouTube videos, people can see the mouse cursor much more clearly and I prefer it to be bigger anyway. So what I'll do is go ahead and click on the start button here and then click on the settings options and inside settings here, I'm going to go to ease of access here. So when I click on ease of access, I'll click on cursor and pointer size. And when I go to that, I can set it to medium size and that's a little bit bigger, or I can set it to the largest size. And I prefer this large size. This kind of works better for me. There's a few other options in here I'll quickly touch note on. If I open up a notepad file, this cursor thing here, if I was just if I was just type something, so let's type something. Here. So as I'm typing, you'll see the cursor at the end. If I increase this size, now when I click inside here, the cursor is much larger. So if you're, you know, if you have visual impairments or you prefer a larger cursor, this is pretty old school, like DOS almost, right? Um, you can have a large cursor like that, or you can leave it as its default small cursor. I prefer the small one. Of what I've been using that for such a long time. I'm used to it, right? And you can click on these to change the color of the mouse. You can have a black mouse pointer. I want to advise that. I'll, I think most people tend to use the white cursor, it's more common. And then you've got like a visual impairment cursor here as well. So depending on like the background, um, this cursor will change color to suit whatever's in the background. So let's go back to the normal cursor here. Um, and that's pretty much how you go about changing the size of your mouse cursor on Windows 10. So let's close this down. That's the end of this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.